here's what I like to say to, to put it in perspective. And Americans will hate me for saying this, but um, like my dog, right? She's supposed to be this aggressive pit bull. She's sleeping on the bed. She doesn't want to wake up, right? She is the American. The Eastern European is the wolf, right? Yeah. Wolf's living outside, like fending, eating rocks for nutrition. That you can't compete with that. Hmm. You know what? Um, like about your kids, just because I've been around wrestlers and like your kung fu instructor and then the wrestling guy, it's like, come on, you're not working hard enough, do it. I think that what I see in wrestlers is they burn out. And when I saw your kids, what I realized is they won't ever know the easy way. So they won't. Oh, they might they, not burn out, right? They can't burn out. Right. The other kids, when they tell me they're done wrestling, it's because they're like, I can't imagine cutting weight again. I can't imagine like missing, like being hungry during well, Christmas. I, we, when we were running, I had to pay real attention to my son, right? We're going <clears throat> a marathon with an eight year old. Right. And so I, I said to him at mile 17, he was having a, a little bit of a fit. And I said, it's no problem, we can quit. I ain't quitting. Except the Q word. Yeah, and so it was good, because I wanted to see, right? Does right. it, right? He wasn't quitting, so it was good. It was I good. think that the, so what you're talking, what, what you're building here is Spartans, and they learn that from day one, that you work hard. And then, but. You, you read the history of the Spartans? No, no. I mean, if you read the history, you, you guys should, <clears throat> you'll be blown away. I listen to what you say, and of course, what you hear, and like the, the, when they're talking about the making of the movie and whatnot. The kings but, and philosophers at that time, they would say those motherfuckers <coughs> are getting a day off when they go to war. Their training is so insane that going yeah. to war is like a joke. <laughs> right? They, they trained for 20-something years before they were allowed to go. I mean, it, yeah. right? Don't feed them. Make them fight for their food. And the only food they could eat is this black soup, which it, it was on purpose. It was, we got to yeah. toughen these, these people up. And the mothers, I mean, again, it's all folklore, you don't know, right? But the mothers would say, um, you, you don't come back unless you come back with your shield or on it. That was, that was a mother that said that. Yeah. There was one great story. The, um, one of the guys, hey, listen, bad news, you know, your, your son died. <coughs> it was bas it, she, was bas she didn't get upset at all. It was like, did, did he take care of business was, was the response. I, I look at, like, a lot of inter like things, like when I'm looking at your kids train, then I think of stuff like, when Dan Gable trained um, his wrestlers, he started to train them. He had the stairs, took them to the steam stairs, and he was like, who trains the hardest? And he looked at those uh, Shaolin warrior monks, and they would jump up the stairs. They would hop up the stairs. They would buddy carry up the stairs. They would hand walk up the stairs. And uh, when I think of that stuff, like, he would push them so much, and that's where I came up with that idea of, like, you blend science with hell. Like, that shit was so far from science, but he right. made them so damn tough yeah. and so like uh, Rugged, resi yeah. resilient. Gritty, gritty. Yeah. yeah, and the uh, those guys are still very, very hard nosed. Meaning they're in their uh, 30s, 40s, late 40s. Yep. <clears throat> they're still like chasing. They're they're always like pushing themselves yeah. to be tough. Yeah, yeah. Can't, yeah. Be, can't beat a wrestler. Well, if it's like trained in you early. It's like you forget what it's like to be comfortable. You know what I'm well, saying? Like, like the science says, it changes your brain. Yeah. Right? So if you're starving yourself to make weight or you're working like that, your brain is getting different wiring than the kid that's playing video games and sitting on a couch. Completely different brain. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What, here's an interesting question for you. This will stump you. <clears throat> what, would you like, what would you say to a coach who has, like, on a regular basis, a non-winning team... He's not like there, and nobody else is like pushing that. Like, how would you go in and if you had an opportunity to go and talk to that coach, who's coaching a team, and let's say they get like whatever the whatever the sport is, they get twenty matches, competitions in their sport season, and they're always like five and fifteen, three and seventeen. I mean, is an option to get rid of the coach, or is that not an option? Looks like nobody cares. Like, it's like it looks like the parents don't care that the kids keep getting their ass kicked. The coach. Doesn't care, but what would you say if they to were try to inspire him? Yeah. Give him the question: Is this acceptable <laughs> to you? Like, are, are you okay with this? Right. Right. And then his answer is either going to be—he's either going to take responsibility himself, <clears throat> or he's going to say, "Well, the kids, the parent, whatever." And, th and that's where you can guide him to like quit, or you can get somebody else. Yeah. Like in The Godfather, where he convinces him to kill himself, right, and not talk. You got to—you got to maybe talk him out of that. Yeah. That I just never will understand anybody that's like, "Yeah, we're mediocre," or. What about below mediocre? That's most of the world. That's the problem. But here's the other thing. Isn't it like, you know, the animal food chain, the big animals or the aggressive animals like eat 
Maybe that's like it how... It doesn't work in our society because of the law. You can't fire the guy, right? And so it doesn't work. <clears throat> Survival of the fittest it doesn't exist. In humans? Well, it, no, it, no, it, it in exists, modern, but in modern society, society they don't... It, in a way, it's like um, you've worked your ass off. You've created Spartan. You're living the lifestyle you want. The guy that didn't or the girl that didn't go after what they wanted to, didn't create what they wanted and just kind of, you know, what I call a clock puncher. They go to wherever they work. They don't live the lifestyle they want. And uh, Ultimate Warrior would always say, he'd say, there's there's always going to be good and bad. There's always going to be good and evil. There's always, he's, so it's like concerning your, I find myself concerning myself with that stuff because I'm like, like, just whatever you do, just fucking be awesome at it. Like if all, if, if you wash tables, fucking be the best be the table best washer yeah. in yeah. the world. So it's just hard for me to not get it. But maybe that's just the way <coughs> the world is supposed to work, that this is the human food chain, that we can't all be great. No, because in the old days, what were we talking about? In the old days, you'd be building the pyramids. There's a million workers there, right? And 200,000 of them that are <coughs> mediocre, they're not showing up tomorrow, but it's not because they're home. They're dead, <laughs> right? We're, we got 800,000 now that want to work. <clears throat> But, but it, it's not like that today. Today you go, you get food stamps, you, you hang out at home. Unemployment. You, yeah. I, I'm all for survival of the fittest. I don't think um, many people would appreciate that statement, but that's just... I'm with you. Right? I'm with you. I think it just I mean, that's you. why I'm here. That's why we started Spartan. and that's the whole, the whole thing is I just got tired of being around... I want to be around high-functioning people. I want to be like military guys at that level, the, the, the really elite military. <laughs> they're awesome to be around. Yep. It's awesome. <clears throat> They are awesome. Wrestlers, awesome to be around. I don't, I don't want to... We're on the planet for a really short time. I'm already halfway dead. I want to be around great people. Yeah, yeah. does that shit freak you out? <laughs> it's start, I'm starting like, to think about it a little bit more because I'm having so much fun that it, it would suck to, to end. Yeah, you know? fucking... It would suck to have to leave here, but uh, <clears throat> it's coming. You, you know, uh, the sheep, their followers, like, they, like they're just... This, this is the trend, I will go here. This is what everybody said to do. But you're trained to do that. As soon as you go to school, any like idea you have that is awesome, I don't know of any schools that's like, oh, you guys have an idea to like do this? That's awesome, go fucking do that. They're like, whoa, put, you know, like. Put, that's what I'm afraid of with put, the training I'm putting my kids through because mm -hmm. I'm, uh, on the other hand, right, I'm, I'm there, it's very regimented every <laughs> single day, the training, and, they, right. and they, they're almost like clock punchers in a way. So you wanna, for me, growing up, I was a madman. I was jumping out my window, escaping from the house, and, and so you want some of that spark in them too. Sure. What uh, do your ki your kids go to a public school or? Yeah. 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 I think we had this conversation. If you were worried about like the, I don't know, like public schools are different in all the states, but uh, in essence, public schools are guided by like the state, and they have to train. They have to uh, st the teachers. Curriculum is based on the exams, the tests that these younger kids have to take at, at, in like second grade, and uh, they're not learning, like they're not learning to be flexible. In essence, they're learning for to take a we're, test. We're gonna our plan. Knock on wood is uh, as a no family. Creativity. We're gonna move around the world. We're gonna we're gonna. That's go. what these there people did. Uh, Marito and my friend, that their uh, aunt and uncle live in Stratton. Half of the year in Vermont, the other half of the year in New Zealand. And I remember they did a. Uh, the cruise and they just that's Travel. what they did they they traveled to different uh we're places gonna, we're gonna do that once i get let, let me i mean seriously think I about fix the staircase first then you guys <laughs>